Okay, so most regular people will copy and paste like this. They'll select some text, press Command C, or even right click and press copy, and then come and press Command V, or do right click and press paste. And if they were to copy multiple things, they would have to do it one at a time. So copy one, then two, and then another thing. And that's pretty fast. But in this video, I'll show you how to copy and paste like a pro using Keyboard Maestro. So this is what it looks like. You can copy multiple things at once and then come paste them all at the same time. You don't have to make many trips back and forth between different pages. You can copy multiple things simultaneously and use different hotkeys to paste them. Additionally, if you wanted to paste something from a different application like your browser, normally you'd have to come and copy it and then go back to the app you were in and then paste it like this. However, again, we can do this even better using Keyboard Maestro. We can copy some text and have a shortcut that instantly pastes it into the previous application. Finally, if we wanted to search for something and paste something that we copied a while back, then we can open up the clipboard selector and paste something in like that. So I'll show you how to set up all of these macros in this video so you too can paste like a pro. All right, so I'm going to open up Keyboard Maestro and show you how these macros work. All of them are based on the clipboard history, which is a feature that Keyboard Maestro has. And to show what that looks like, first I'm going to show this action right here, which is the show clipboard history macro. What this does is it brings up the clipboard history with the shortcut option shift one. And by the way, I'll have all of these macros available for download in the description. So with the clipboard history open, we can see all the items that we've recently copied. And if I go to an app and I double click on something, it will paste that item in. So then from there, what we can do is make even more macros that paste previous items from the clipboard. So this is how I did the first part where I copied multiple things and then pasted them all out in a row. What I did was use these macros, which each of which sets the clipboard history and pastes a past clipboard item. So this one pastes the second most recent clipboard item, so that would be here. And then th the next macro pastes the third most, most recent, or the second past clipboard, which would be this one here, and so on. You can go back as far as you want with these macros. So it's just a simple action of set the system clipboard to past clipboard. You can find that in the actions like this, set clipboard, to pass clipboard and then select your number. One will be the second item in the clipboard. Zero would refer to the current item. And then you just have an action to paste, which looks like this. All right, so then the next action or macro that I showed was one where you can paste something from any application immediately into the previous application. So the way that one works is I have a macro that copies the current text. Whenever I press this shortcut of command option control V, it copies the text, then activates the last application, then pastes. So again, that's much faster than having to manually copy, open the application and then paste it in. You can do it instantly with this macro. And then finally was the clipboard history where you can select any item and just press enter to bring it into your to paste it in the way that works is with this ap action here paste by name so again you can search for that paste by name it's this action right here and when you have some keyboard shortcut map to it then pressing that will bring up this window you can search for items and it'll filter like that or you can scroll or use your arrow keys and press enter, or you can double click on something and it will paste it in. So that's how I paste like a pro, and now you know how to do it too. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.